So one thing I didn't notice is that <clears throat> the Powerpuff Girls show for 2016 has actually died. Well, one person actually is like, well, I talked about the last episode, you know, a week ago. And I'm like, you, huh? Yeah, but it says that the last episode was in June 2019. So, I guess the real messed up part is the fact of my source doesn't even show it. My source didn't even mention anything about, oh, and he said third season, so I don't even really know what's going on here. So, I have no clue. <laughs> All I could tell you is that my source didn't show here's a new episode at all. But at least it ended on a good note. They actually had one main character just like him was. Because technically him was like the big major character in the original version. In the original. Yeah, it was like him. And as soon as you get to the big climax of it, it's like, yeah, wow, not to be messed with. And then you have Silico, the newest one. And Silico actually is pretty formidable. And of course, yes, definitely has redconning issues where it's like, yeah, it does make sense if Bliss was the one who did it. If Bliss was the one who actually didn't leave, destroyed his house and everyone in it. It would make perfect sense, but yeah. It's too bad that Cartoon Network doesn't give a crap. Don't even show it anymore. Heck, what's even funnier is that, check it out. They don't even talk about the app anymore. They just talk about the CN Arcade. That's what they freaking talk about now. They don't even talk about, do you have a freaking damn app? Where, what happened to that? <laughs> oh, man. But, yeah, we don't get to see Bliss anymore. Um, Silico actually has an end that's like, oh, wow. I think we should chalk this up to the person who actually does dark stories. Let's see if he actually will enjoy this. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyways, um, again, I don't really like the decisions that they made about the show at all. There's just some things that I dislike, but me personally, I still like to go with the idea of it's just like how that other movie with Charles Lee Ray, the movies that are now come out with Charles Lee Ray, same deal. He's like, it's a reboot, but it still continues the continuity. Same exact deal. It's a freaking another start of continuity. There's so much stuff that changes. And it's kind of funny how he talks about, like, it's messed up how Blossom actually questions herself. And it's like, yeah, she's growing up, dude. She's growing up. We're seeing before our very eyes that they're all growing up. And... They got new powers. They're growing up. We don't know what exactly what Chemical X could really do. For all we know, it's like as long as they continue to grow and stuff, Chemical X could do a lot more stuff for them and to them where it's like, whoa, what the frick? Just like how Ben 10 is like very start. Hey, I got 10 aliens. And then he continues going on with his adventures and the story. And it looks like, oh, he got 10,000 aliens and he got lots of aliens and he can overclock it and, blah, blah, blah. and it's like see he evolved he changed he grew during this whole entire thing and we saw his one of his futures and it's like yeah same with Powerpuff Girls this is technically their unofficial continuation of the story and I mean, seriously, what we really want, do we really want to have this messed up issue where lots of people are like, this sucks, which they had some good, they had some good episodes. They had some bad episodes. It always happens that way. I mean, how come we don't see the Rattle Rob boys anymore? How come we didn't even see them get reintroduced? It's like, there's so many villains that they have that weren't introduced into this in quotations reboot. That I'm like, dude, it's not a reboot. All the other villains don't give a shit anymore. <laughs> they all tried to go against the Powerpuff Girls. And they are like, fuck this. <laughs> the only one who still is actually doing something is Mojo Jojo. He's the only one. And then you got some new ones who don't know you shouldn't mess with the Powerpuff Girls. But lo and behold, they freaking damn do because they're new people. They're new villains. The old villains, yeah, man, fuck this crap. <laughs> We are not going to get beaten up by the Powerpuff Girls anymore. You don't even see Fuzzy Lumpkin being like, oh, blah, blah. 
I remember what you did to me that one time. It's gone. It's like, yeah, that never happened. It was never, ever revenge where he's like, it's just you and me. <laughs> that never happened. Right of our boys never got created at all in this series. So it's like, it seems to me it's a continuation secretly. It's secretly a continuation. They're not even in elementary school anymore. They're actually in junior middle school or something like that. They're in the, they're basically most likely like in IES, Waterson. But for the show to end and die this way, it's kind of sad. It's like they didn't even show them anymore in Cartoon Network. You might have to see it on Boomerang and maybe have to see it on the app and crap. And it's like, what the fuck? It's like, dude, come on, really? I don't want to see Teen Titans ass go. I'd rather watch Powerpuff Girls than Teen Titans ass go. That's how messed up it is. It's like, I'd rather actually see the interesting thing of being like, hmm, more evidence that this actually is not a reboot versus Teen Titans ass go. Continuing to poop on freaking Team Titans. <laughs> and they have a freaking versus <laughs> movie too. And I'm like, why are you dragging them into this? They're dragging so many freaking damn people into this. They drag people so much into this that even the freaking DC animated universe was like, well, after that year, we're going to have one few more movies and then we're going to show the middle finger and end this because, well, you put the freaking Teen Titans into this shit. And it's like, we don't want Teen Titans as go to be a part of this shit. And it's like, no, no, no. You used our freaking characters and put them into the situation. Fuck you. We're ending this. <laughs> but now they start a brand new one and now it doesn't have any touch of Teen Titans as go in it at all. And it's like, damn. Of course, that's not how it happened, <laughs> but still it's like, yeah, um, damn, they don't want to anything to be touched by Teen Titans as a go. And maybe that's the reason why Powerpuff Girls got screwed over too. Teen Titans as a go, <laughs> the crossover. <laughs> uh, but I wish they were treated a little bit better. And lots of people dislike the freaking show and it's a reboot and shit. And it's like, it's not a reboot, man. If it was a real reboot, then... How come all the old freaking villains weren't used as much as they should have been? There should have been like many recreations of many episodes, but yet we didn't get any of that. We got Mojo Jojo doing the same crap and lots of new villains, including, um, some good, you know, that guy. <laughs> Uh, well, rest in peace. You've been gone for like one year and four months. Damn. And I didn't even get to see your last episode. My sources don't even have your last episode. How messed up is that?